Well, hello everyone. What do we have here? I think we do have a number three. So, let's unbox it. The package came very good. It wasn't that damaged. A little tear over here on the side. But other than that, it's looking good. So let's open it and see how it's going. What do we have inside? Right off the top, communication cable, USB cable, instruction manual, with a CD, with a DVD or CD or whatever, with the software. Uh, we have a communication cable, parallel cable, so we can parallel all three of them together and the mounting screws these are mainly for if you if you want to mount this in concrete so some out in wood i will not be using these other than the ones small ones that secure then we do have a current sharing cable. This one looks like it's fairly longer than this one. So let's see. Could that be the case? Oh no, that seems to be the case. Hell, I don't even have to make a new one. I think this one will look just fine. The other two are shorter, so this is a newer unit. They might have had people complaining in this. They decided to include longer cables. Because the issue with this parallel cable might be that it's not long enough. And I know that people have complained about that too. So let's see if this one's going to be longer than six feet. I hope it is, it looks like it is, because that was my fear, because the other cables are not long enough. So let's see if this one's going to be longer than the six feet. It will be great. Oh yeah, it's longer. This one will manage to get from one side to another. I guess they listened to the complaints, because I was about to complain about that too. It's pretty cool. So, let's see, here's the mounting that goes up on the wall, and let's see what day was this unit manufactured, and I think that will be it for now. Twenty twenty February uh, January. Okay. okay. Nothing is missing. So we will go ahead and set it up. That will be the next part of the video. Well, I didn't film this part because it's pretty self-explanatory and on top of that all you would be looking at my would be looking at my ass over here. But the third one is up. Pretty simple. Install the bracket on the back, hang it up, and now I will continue installing the lines and whatnot. We'll see how that goes. Manufacture date is January of 2020. I think I mentioned that before. Okay, a little bit of an update. 
I ran the lines to the third inverter. And they are going back to the box. Input wiring for the um, third inverter is done. It's hooked up. You can see inside. You guys never seen it before. We'll go from here. I right, have boys and girls. It's connected. It's not connected in the main box. This is just the first to turn it on to make sure does it work. I haven't turned it on yet. This will be the first time. I already used the uh, capacitor to pre I mean, use the uh, resistor to pre-charge the capacitor. So we will go ahead and turn it on. Let's see how does it work. Okay, loud beep is there. It's on. Nothing blew up in my face. That's a good thing. So, it's working. Let's see what we got. I'm going to check for voltage. Should be just 120 volt. I think that's how they come. Plug it in, 119.8, and let's see, the other leg, 120, it's working, it's mainly working from the battery, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to set it up and go from there. I'll keep you posted. Alright, I'm back. It's hooked up. All three are paralleled. It's working. Got to tidy up those uh, parallel communication cables. And then we'll go from there. It just happened that the wife turned on the dryer. As you can see, all three are installed. I just finished installing them. I'll try running it for a little bit. And then, so far so good. I think this will be able to run the whole house. We'll see how it performs. Oh yeah, 187 amps, 9.7 kilowatt hours. Amazing, I've never seen something like that. I don't know what came on. Something came on, it's at 9.7 kilowatts. Let's see over here on the screen. Yep. 59% load, something kicked out. It's back on. I don't know what that was, but I never had the discharge like that. We'll see how it goes. So far, so good. So what I'm doing in this video, on this part of the video, I'm taking the straps and I'm putting the heat shrink on them so I can wrap them around these cables over here that are hanging. It will provide a little bit more protection so the wires don't get chafed and whatnot. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Let's look at the table. What exactly am I doing? So, taking a strap, straighten it out a little bit so you can have, so you can have a heat shrink fit over it. So, I'll show you that too. 
take it, slide it in, and then you take it to the heat gun. Heat gun is too noisy, it's gonna bother everybody. So once I'm done, I'm gonna show it off right here. So here's how does it look like after it's done. And I can show example of how does it look like on the wall. Completed. I have tidied up all the uh, runs, conduit runs and communication cables. In the retrospect, when I see those conduits there, I wish I had a gutter. But <laughs> hey, I'm not going to change. I must resist. That would be too much work. And I really don't want to do it. But so far, happy with it. It's working. As you have seen in a in the earlier stages of this video. So and the batteries are doing just fine. Only thing left is to figure out the um, communication protocol to talk to Raspberry Pi and of course installing solar panels. Damn it. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.